The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. The Rileys came here in the 1840s. My father was a child of the Depression, and he worked for the Civilian Conservation Corps. And then he started his own business and became a very successful real estate and insurance business person. And my father was head of the Chamber of Commerce and head of the Cancer Society and led the United Way Drive and, and, uh, and those things. So I, I grew up in a family uh, that was civically interested and civically committed. I'd always been interested in government and history. And then when I graduated from law school and was practicing law here, I was encouraged by local political leaders to offer for the House of Representatives. I was only 25 years old. Well, I served six years in the House of Representatives and we had a young family, a small law practice, and my wife urged me to to come back home full time. And, and that was the right thing to do. And then the next year, I was approached by civic leaders to run for mayor. I'd never thought of being mayor. I'd never been to a city council meeting. I have never had any aspirations uh, for local government. Uh, but the city was at a crossroads in 1975. Either there was going to be a white leader who could build bridges between the African-American white community, or there would be a polarized election with a conservative white candidate, an African-American candidate, and a very difficult racial divide. And that's why I ran for mayor. I accepted the challenge and felt the responsibility of working to build bridges so that that Charleston would avoid the, the ugly uh, racial division and to give African Americans, uh, for the first time, a sense of a felt participation and engagement in their government. So that's what impelled me to run for mayor. And I thought I would serve for one term. I had a very simplistic view of things and, um, and that was honest uh, at that time, but what I didn't realize was the complexities of the job and the fascinating uh, components of it. My goal was to build a great city, create a great city, and that has nothing to do with science. It's just about a collective aspiration to achieve excellence and to aspire to, uh, to accomplish greatness in everything that you do. And I feel that, that that's where Charleston is, and that's not my work, that's the community's work. The Waterfront Park was so significant in furthering Joe's goal of making the Charleston Waterfront accessible to the people at every edge. That that land should be owned by the public, that that was a, a duty, a responsibility to give the, that beautiful part of the city to all future generations. Well, the best job in public service is to be a mayor uh, because you, you get to you get to accomplish things for people. It's not theoretical, it's actual. You, you help make the community safe, you create new parks so make them beautiful, uh, you help build an economy, uh, you, you respond to people's needs, and, and it's, you, you really, as a mayor, can come to work every day and feel like you've done something to help somebody or advance the ball down the court. It's, uh, it's, it's the best job there is in public service, in my opinion.